<laughs> waited all day for this, man. Panama. Yes, it looks like it could be one of two locations. It either looks like it's in the Bloodsucker Village over by the, the Freedom Warehouses or possibly Corden. And I'm probably wrong on both accounts, like at a glance, but at, by the end of the clip, I'll definitely know where it is. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. Three, two, one. That fucking sound effect. Okay, hold on. There's a lot that just happened in a short period. Okay, it's clearly like gameplay, but what is this animation sway? And who's this dude right here? Homie got the mask on. <laughs> Yo, that's cool, man. That's cool. That looks really good. You can even just tell how much shading he's in here. Everything has a really good amount of shadows. Damn, the pseudo giant has like that throaty like growl to him when he's coming around that corner. Yeah, exactly. Pearl. Found footage to the max. Super horror vibes. Holy shit. Wait, no, this might be um that village in in Pripyat. It's hard. It's hard to tell. All right, so he's going to ADS. There's like a lot of cinematic shake they put over it. Like the fact that, okay, I guess obviously it's a YouTube short. So if it was in like the full 16 by nine and the weapon was like swaying back and forth, that would um, not look as odd as it does right here. But look how nice and clear this is. And then this motion blur looks so good. What's up with that the digital foundry video? Where there, it is the Bloodsucker Village. Okay, good. That, that, that's what I said before I even started playing the video. I was like, it just feels like that at a glance. Um, it is confirmed. Okay, good. Yay, finally. I fucking get, get a guess right. Let's go. Um, I love these. Uh, I, I don't know what you would call them, but like the uh, muzzle flash, little, little sparkle flares that are coming off. Is that a fucking artifact back there? Is that like a... F yeah, wow, that comes up for like a hot second. Or is that a round injecting? Oh, wait, that might be a shell casing. Oh, okay. But it looks like it's so tiny, like it's further away than the gun is. Ah, uh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, speed. Where's the fucking speed? Oh, I love that you can see the tracers coming out. Yes, dude, look at the way this guy just gets yeeted, dude. He just gets knocked over. That looks fucking crazy. That animation work. <laughs> he just, he just fucking throws back. <laughs> it's just the muzzle flash effect. I thought it might've been a casing. The throat god voice. Oh my god, dude. The animation is so good. I can't get over it. So this this pseudo giant is hairy too. And this one has the two hands. And he's a little bit Yeah, he, he this one looks a little bit different than the one we just saw in the uh a time for opportunities trailer. Yeah, the face is different too. Oh man, enemy variety is making me so moist right now. Oh, you get a really good look at him right there. That is classic pseudo. Oh, oh, look at the look at the glazing in his eye, dude. Oh, that's some chills right there, dude. Like what in, in that? That is fucking sick. Oh, like his ears are just open, decaying fucking holes. Oh, man. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Oh, you the teeth and everything, man. So that obviously had to be a killing blow. So, like, the Bloodsucker can knock you back. And the, um... We saw the flesh do the jumping attack, so I assume they can knock you down as well. But this looked like he had... Once he had you on the ground, they had, like, a, a kill execution animation. Dude, dude, that would be so good. If there was like a Dead Space-esque, like enemies have a finishing execution for Skiff, that would be fucking awesome.
he pulls his gun towards him yeah like the i, I want to call it weapon kinetics i don't know if that's like the correct term but i know about kinetics from clear sky with defeat and how like that changed up the game too like i feel like that's what it is it's the same thing like when you get too close to a wall how the player pulls the weapon back so it doesn't clip through that's like a, that's a big immersion thing like that means a lot especially in like an fps game I like the way skip, like, you hear skip. Ah, oh, that's fucking good, dude. They did a good job with this. They did a really good job with this. Holy shit, GSC is is giving us marketing, dude. And when we had that Bayun teaser, it seemed like we were all kind of expecting it to be uh, a series of of mutant teasers. So this pretty much confirms that. Yeah, I feel like the, the camera looks a lot more stylish because the aspect ratio is so crushed in because they, they formatted it as a short. Whereas in gameplay, I think that works. Like, think about this. The animations in the original games don't show the weapons swaying all over the place, but there's like a degree of, um, you know, you, you, it's not hit scan. Like, you, you, you have uh, bullet drop off and like, and sway and all that stuff. Like, it was still emulating that the shooting had sway even though you didn't see it with the animation so if in this game you where you see the weapon going is where you roughly know the bullets are i like that because that means that you, you move the mouse or the thumbstick to compensate for it and it adds that additional layer of complexity and like skill to the weapon handling which is what everybody wants it's it's really yeah those little details really differentiate like a player that has played for like a long time or is, is you know more new to the combat man this looks fucking good yeah there is a pretty good uh variety of foliage i don't know if it's just me it's probably because this the sky looks amazing tell me that doesn't look straight out of trilogy that looks just like super clean like like ultra high res version of it but that is like a moody as fuck overcast that's a classic stalker sky right there and the way it like gives everything like this like low dim non oversaturated look and then it produces a lot of these darker like shadows and these nooks and, and crannies it, it really just elevates the the unsettling nature of being in a place like this like some people will be like this looks boring i'd be like no this looks horrifying this is like genuinely how you how you build your environment the 180 turn Oh, wait, did the skiff do a 180 turn? Oh, right, yeah, he's walking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like when you pull back on the thumbstick and hit B or something like that in other games, that doesn't make sense. This looks really... F okay, so... Oh, man, this is just... I, uh, duh. How did I not realize this? You have, like, a fucking AI partner. So, there you go. That's... I mean, I guess, like, you would, you would expect it, but it's really nice to see because that wasn't a super prevalent thing in the old games. Like... In certain instances, you would work with stalkers, and then obviously everybody's going to bring up mods and be like, oh, well, well, mods give you partners all the time, and that's true. But I like seeing this as native GSC-designed gameplay, which means that it's actually going to work um, and be cohesive. But that's cool, man. Like, now you, people are going to be like, why didn't you just give us co-op? No, I really want to have, like, these characters in the game that have cool personalities that you get you know that you form your own relationship with and you care about them in this combat so even when they look goofy as shit and they get yeeted back into the crowd <laughs> in that classic the stalker tower way with the blood sucker is still there demolish that shit <laughs> no that tower is historical bro the uh the chernobyl committee refuses to knock that down that that light on his shoulder and on his rifle the way it illuminates his fingers but the rest of these like really hard shadows like this footage is very quick it's not even like you would get to like focus on all these details in gameplay as much um but that's what it just looks so so natural these graphics look so good man they're gonna hold up but i, I the one thing i've noticed and it's kind of reinforcing what i was thinking is that all of these areas because the whole world is supposed to be open now still have to have some degree of um physical like separation or restriction at some point and i i've seen it with this footage and in the trailers where it seems like when you whenever you see these big tree lines in the distance like i'm pretty sure you could probably walk through it but i bet they crank the radiation up by a high degree so that unless you've like advanced to the game and you have a better suit then you can just cut through otherwise you're more motivated to like naturally go around it and deal with other obstacles like it seems like they've used just a really natural world building way of 
creating the these sections stitching them all together but have it being open where you can still kind of travel yeah am i giving enough italian hand motions uh, and just realize how much i'm moving my hands around skiff just sitting there lucky that he didn't put a bullet in his homie for just going right into the to the oopsie line oh man it's it's it looks so good that's sunrise suit right there so i think skiff and this guy in this gameplay are both uh being loners because I, I mean we've seen skiff wear a number of different uniforms and i guess like you could be you know that, that could just be like costume wear like an item he picks up or maybe you know you can enlist that looks really good yeah the ak sounds fucking mint. no one did <laughs> Overcast Stalker is primo. Yeah, the, this this Bloodsucker Village. I want to see more of it. Like, I'm starting to... I remember the, this hole in the wall, and then obviously there's the, the tower here. Yep, you see it for like... Like a... A hot second. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Ah, almost had you. Oh, there she is, dude. Yep. <laughs> Gotten Jap attacked like a million times over here by bloodsuckers. <laughs> it looks it looks very creepy. It looks even even less welcoming. I wonder, is that a is that like an arrow that was spray painted on there? There's a tire. This tire is becoming a, a common physical object. But it looks so good. I love when the dog's knocked into it because when, when there's dramatic lighting on it, it almost looks like a stationary asset because like the fidelity is too high. And then when it physically reacts, you're like, like, let's fucking go. Because even like the original trilogy had a good amount of objects environmentally to interact with, but they're really amping that up. And I have a feeling the grenades are especially going to show that since like debris was a big thing they showed in E3 2021. But even since then, there's still a lot of like those particle effects. Ooh. Yeah, it, I do. Why did Digital Foundry say that there was no motion blur in this game? They said it was motion blurless. I'm like, no, nah, there's like depth of field and motion blur and everything in this. Like. <laughs> Dude, he sounds crazy. Hold on, let me turn that volume up. <laughs> that's when you that's when you hold down W and you hit X and you can get the fuck out of there. <laughs> the minute you hear that sound effect, we gone. Oh yeah, the fact that it's not like just like total camera motion blur saves the whole game. Like they went crisis one approach, the right approach. It looks, it looks perfect. This is how you do it. Oh man, that light that just bounces on the back of the AK, like that's crazy, man. That's so dr like I love the uh, the high contrast. Like to get this dr like this lighting in X-ray was always so tricky. Even with mods and the weird reshade boys, like nothing could ever get it so that you had really good dark levels and you had really good bright levels and Tommy really good mid tones. Tommy's partner's weapons jams. Play close attention. The weapon jams. Oh shit, yeah, he's sitting there. Oh, poor bastard, bro. That was not the spot to stop. Yeah, he's trying to clear it. Right before he gets deleted. Oh, that's sick. You can hear the the the, the ching ping sound. Like, I don't know how you want to describe it. I thought he was gonna like get ready to throw a grenade or something, but yeah, it looks like he, he's definitely going to clear. I, I, it's, I was hoping that um, I would see like the round fall or whatever that that he clears the chamber with, but that I'm asking for too much from a 1080p clip. Is there, oh dude? Is there anything else here? Oh yeah, E. 
frame by frame, baby. Frame by frame. Dude, the, the, the camera work is immaculate. Look at this one frame and tell me that this is not all of like, for like the older homies in the chat, tell me this doesn't make you feel like it's 2006 when you saw the trailer for Cloverfield. This is like that, like that shaky cam, like holy cow, less is more, like the monster is insane. Like the subtle camera work and the animations, terrific. Ooh, and then just the crunch of getting that ass whooped. so good oh it's so good i want to compare it real quick hold on Help me. i fit yep i get it yeah yeah no i saw the bayune teaser of course but i'm comparing it now and it's it, it's shedding a lot more light because these are supposed to be like these like gameplay highlights so when the Bayoon jumps, everybody really got, got caught into thinking that this was like a cutscene. I think enemies have execution animations now. Also, just like this one frame, dude. Look how good this wood looks, all fractured with this light on it. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. We never got into chance to, to break this down, so I figured this would be a good time to bring it back up. If there's like anything I, I missed in comparison. Yeah, dude, I all the mutants are, are just so good looking. Just the way the sacks jiggle too. All right, I never thought I was going to say that, but yep, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of good animation work. But when he does this jump right here, it, it reminds me a lot of how the pseudo giant executes Skiff. And so I'm less likely to think this is a cutscene, and I think you can get one shot at essentially. Maybe, maybe if like you're wounded or something, you're more likely to to have that happen. Or if you're just not careful, an enemy can can sneak up on you and just take you out. Oh, what what mutant are they gonna show us next, dude? Are we gonna get Snorks? Yeah, I'm 99% convinced it's a game mechanic as well. When when you have no other context, it's it's a lot harder to speculate. But now that we have the uh, that looks awesome. He's, he said hi, Dad. <laughs> hi, son. <laughs> oh man. Yo, the deer. Yeah, that's what I want to see, but I feel like they're they're being very uh cautious to reveal them i feel like they want that to be a a big reveal but yeah i want to see the snorks man because i'm loving the the sound design the sound design is 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 fucking perfect yeah that's amazing like they've they've managed to create a game with gameplay like so fluid and natural that people can't help but think it's not, not even gameplay. <laughs> but you can tell that it is like they've at this point, there's enough, uh, you know, trailers and snippets now that have been given to us that like we, we know what we're getting. We know what we're seeing. Like it's it's too consistent not to, not to be this. That shit is crazy. Luke Stevens, eat your fucking heart out, dude. That's a good idea, Mosey. Oh, I forgot that when they when they uploaded this, that it was a beautiful 16 by 9. Yeah, this is just good wallpaper material. But like they obviously went out of their way to put the uh, the dot right there in the center to tell you that this is, you know, idle gameplay running. I know everybody's got like, uh, you know, a theory because I don't know if this is inside of one of the generators or if it's a control room for all of the generators. I'm pretty sure, isn't there two, four, six, six, wait, 
Where is it? I can't I, I I can't remember if there's six or eight generators possibly, but or we don't even know no nah, anything's possible at this point. But I feel like each one of these is linked to a a generator or something. And it's it's odd, like Mosey and I were talking about this earlier, but you can hear the audio do two or three cuts throughout. And we were like, why would they do that if they clearly just have a static camera here? Like what's what's the point? I think that there's some stuff that you would hear that they don't want you to hear, so it must reveal details. I think this is like a control room or something. Like, who knows? Like, there might even be a, I don't know, terminal noises or something. Like, if you listen in the background, it sounds like old platter disc hard drives. Like, it sounds like a Raptor uh, 9000 RPM hard drive just doing any any amount of read and writes <laughs> just it sounds like nine of my windows 98 computers just running in tangent like this this place seems like it's functioning you know it's not completely derelict like everything else even though it's got a little bit of like run run downness to it i love this smoke it's a lot easier to see on my screen um but the, there is smoke coming out here and it has the same type of like smoky particle effect that the uh the twister arch anomaly that we saw in the new trailer had and it's just really cool like these technologies man they've really really paid off six yeah that's what i thought that's why i was like doing this before because there's like one two three four five six uh in the original uh re or generators uh setup but I, I, who knows they could have they could have added one or two of them after the fact when they when they brought the array up or something who knows obviously the generators are, are functioning but that's that's really interesting is the oh this just looks like a a little like forklift type thing i wonder if skiff is forklift certified oh the teasers man the teasers are really good though i like the they repeated the same mistakes by the games going for I, I don't even think that that's like a uh, like a cliche trope. It's just an inevitable part of human nature. And it's the way that you tell that story that makes it feel like authentic and convincing or not. I feel like that you're 100% you're, you're on the mark with that, Dace. That's that, I get that vibe too. I think Serka has like the hubris to think that they, you know, can make the... Uh, they, they have like some weird selfish reasons. That, I don't know what, what they are yet, but it seems like they've got a clear agenda they just don't give a shit what the consequences of of doing it are it's almost like the sea consciousness but just pivoting really really dark because you could make the argument that the original sea conscious you know i don't know wasn't as super duper malicious i mean they were malicious as fuck but they weren't like i don't know they just don't give me that dalin vibe you know what i mean like dalin is a shady character dude yeah, exactly, Da Vinci. Exactly. Like, you know, it's only it's only the I can't remember how it was described. Someone someone said that with any given like topic, you know, at first you realize, you know, nothing. Then you learn enough to realize that, you know, a little bit about it. And then when you've learned so much that you think, you know, all of it, then a little bit later, you learn that you didn't know at all and, and because then all of a sudden you, you, you the, yeah the less i know the better type of shit ah oh, man did they, they didn't give us any other teasers i don't think that we can recap let me see here nope nope just the tip <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, do those the OST? That's right. I'm very, very interested to see where they take this story. I'm sure, I'm fucking sure people are, are going to make comparisons to, to real life and say that everything is, is some sort of metaphor or an allegory for something. And I'm sure that, like, there is going to be influences, you know, one way or another. We'll see. 
I don't know. I GSC is exactly the type that really boils everything down to the finer details. And like, we know this when we saw the uh, the leaked document for the technical art assets. Like, there was so much detail and consideration that they took for like an old oven. <laughs> like that, eighty percent of people wouldn't have even begun to notice. Like we would. Like so, it clearly is is a game that's made by people who feel the same way about it that we do so i would not at all put it past them to put that level of uh intricacy into it i think you're i think you're right on the money man that's what makes it so special like because other games don't do that you know you got these games like pumping out annually like no dude like it's the it's the spongebob meme where all the rest of the industry is uh what's his name the fucking he's like cranking out all the burgers and spongebob is just like he's got the bread and then he puts like the one little patty and then the other dude's just cranking out more shit it's fucking his essence creed it's all this other crap and then spongebob puts it and he gives it a little kiss and that's stalker too <laughs> stalker too <two>, baby <laughs> two pickles <laughs> let's go